So if you have a slightly bigger budget, then there are loads of really stunning premium options that we can put on the front cover of your catalogue to make the content pop and to make your book really stand out. So there are four processes that you can add to the front cover of your catalogue. So you can go for foiling, you can go for embossing or debossing, you can go for gloss, spot UV varnish, or you could even have a die cut. So I'll guide you through each of those four processes, show the different effects that can be achieved with each. Before we start, as a costing indication, each of these processes has a base price of £280 to set up the necessary plates or dies for them. So £280 covers you for applying the process to one or 500 sheets. So basically, if you've got 499 sheets, then the price is going to be the same as it is for just one copy. So it makes the cost a lot more palatable on bigger print runs uh, than it does for, for example, your final major project where you might only be getting a handful of copies. And that 280 is going to add a massive amount to the price. But if you're going for 500, 1,000, 2,000 copies, then the 280 is far less of a add-on than it is on a smaller handful. So let's start by looking at the catalogues which have foiling on the front cover. Some really stunning examples here. You'll notice with all of these premium processes that they do work far better for large flat areas or vector shapes. It's hard to get really fine, intricate details. So just go for bold text or fine graphics and they'll work a lot better. Now let's start with the first of our catalogues with foiling on the front cover, still one of our absolute favourites. It's the Central St Martin's Fine Art Catalogue. So it's likely for your catalogue there's going to be an overall theme or visual language behind the degree show. So the vehicle that dictated the style of the Central St Martin's catalogue here was old school exercise books. That's what they really wanted them to look like. And they came up with an incredibly simple but so effective lines across the front cover, which were gold foiled. So remembering back to school, you'd have your name and your class maybe in your form written on these lines. They wouldn't have been foiled, obviously, but the foiling is a really nice tip to those. Got gold foiling down the spine and on the back cover, you can see they've gone for the tables with maths calculations on there and scientific numbers that you might have found on the textbooks as well. It's really, really cool. And over the years, this has got a lot of praise. The actual degree show itself, the tutor said it sets a new benchmark for catalogue design from Central St Martins, which when you consider the college has been going for decades and the calibre of the students that have gone there, that was a massive accolade. So they've gone for an off-white front cover. The actual card they use for the front covers here isn't available anymore, but I'm sure we can get something similar for you from Popset or GF Smith. And then we've got the gold foiling over the top. Here, Nottingham Trent have gone for gold foiled chunky text. This is the name of their show for that particular year, Emerge, and also the name of the college. So this is onto 350 gram silk with matte lamination over the outside again to stop the black ink cracking and then the foiling over the top. Really punchy though, gold foil, immediately obvious. Even more obvious than that, clearly, is the Goldsmiths MFA Fine Art Catalog from a couple of years ago. And they've just gone for a huge rectangle of foil uh, on the front cover. So it almost acts as a mirror when the reader's looking into it. In all honesty, probably too large a foil area because you can see that it is starting to scratch in there. Foiling is a lot better when it's limited to smaller areas. Another example of foiling, again, is just picking out the masthead or the college name or your particular title for the degree show. So it's gold foil. Uh, there are loads and loads of colour options on foil. I think there's kind of a couple of hundred to choose from. Um, gold foil, silver and copper are going to be the cheapest, um, but there are all different coloured foils as well. Rather than going printing metallic ink, you could foil some text or a logo and it just jumps off the page a little bit more because it's got the metallic edge. Whereas even metallic ink, it doesn't have that effect because it soaks into the paper where foil kind of just sits on the surface and it really, really 
where he jumps off. So gloss spot UV varnishing is the process of picking out a graphic or a name or a logo on the front cover and just that area alone is given a varnish to differentiate it between that area and the background of the paper itself. So on the goldsmith's matter one here, we've got white foil there in the top right hand corner and we've got gloss spot UV varnish. So as you tilt it towards the light, really shimmers. You can see the graphics come to life. When you look at the book flat, they're not immediately obvious, but when tilted, if you rub your hand over there, ever so slightly pronounced. And on the Glasgow Product Engineering catalog here, they've got their logo gloss spot varnish. So the background is matte laminated, and then the gloss varnish over the top differentiates itself from the background. Loads of examples to discuss for debossing and embossing. So embossing is where some content comes towards the reader. So it's pushed through from the back towards the reader, like we can see here on the Chelsea 10 catalog. So it's pushed through from the back of the card towards the reader, that's embossing. Debossing is where the content is pushed from the front to the back of the card so the content goes into the surface of the paper and debosses away from the reader. So the Newcastle Fine Art one here, Newcastle Fine Art do produce some really great catalogues. This is an impressive tome. It's like a piece of antique sculpture and it's almost got like an inscription with a castle wall on the front cover. It's picked out a really smart logo Nice typeface, and it does look like it's done in stone, the embossing on the front cover of this one. No print on the cover, it's just the mark itself. This is a colour plan vermilion that they've used on the front cover, and also the effect of embossing there. As you can see on the reverse of the card, it pushes away, so you get kind of the negative relief as well. So you get the embossed cover, and then you have the same thing printed on the first leaf. Very smart design. Chelsea have picked out a large typeface here and embossed it towards the reader. And a smaller UAL logo in the corner. And again, you get the relief on the inside page. Very tactile, very impressive. Goldsmiths here have the title of the course on the front cover in black ink. And then they have the plus between the fine art and the art history embossed as well. Very cool. University of Brighton. Nice, simple, white background on the cover with a neat, professional emboss over the top. So as you look at it from a distance, you just presume it has only got University of Brighton on there. The closer that you get, we have the tactile embossing. Commentary catalogue, commentary photography from last year, nice bespoke size. And then we have what's the weather like is abbreviated to just the four letters. And that's debossed on the front cover of their catalogue. So you're getting a feel here that simple lines of text work really well with these processes. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and go over the top. Less is often more with the premium processes. The actual process is striking and eye-catching itself. So the content can be a lot simpler for, and it can still work. Loughborough Graphic Design. We'll talk about this in more detail later, but they have Loughborough BA Graphic Communication and Illustration debossed on the front cover. They've gone for 350 gram silk and they've gone for soft touch lamination over the top. The front cover of this one feels majestic. Really, really nice to rub your hands over it. So debossing here, again, nice chunky typeface. 
And they've actually gone for spot color pink as well. It's hard to get a color this vibrant by printing in CMYK. So the use of the spot color really makes that pink pop. Very, very impressive, this catalog. Bespoke size 240 by 170 and debossing on the front cover. Birmingham graphic design gone for a similar aesthetic as well. So a series of words down the page, applied, started, created, failed, learned, developed, improved, finished, graduated. Career progression at the university and they're all debossed into the front cover again. Final premium process to talk about is on these neat A5 catalogues and they've actually die cut a shape out of the back cover. So the purpose of this is that it shows the course's brand color, which is the salmon color through the window. Again, this is gonna work particularly well with large areas and very pronounced shapes. You're not going to be able to die cut letter forms really because when you start die cutting an E or an A for example you're going to lose the section in the middle which actually makes the letter legible. So this is going to work far better on logos and vector shapes. This was the only example of this that we could find from 14 years so it's not a very popular choice. Um, for a premium option you probably are better going for something like embossing or foiling, die cutting maybe for your leaflets or for your invites to the show. So you can see here some really winning suggestions for use of the premium options on your front cover. A split between white backgrounds and color backgrounds. Obviously, if you're gonna go for one of these premium options, you don't have to work quite as hard with the design because the premium option itself adds an extra dimension to it. Loughborough here with the debossing. I mean, this is about as perfect as it gets. We'll talk about it in more detail, like I said. We've got the printed pink background for Swansea. We've got Newcastle using this awesome kind of stone-like mark on the front cover of their catalogue, and they've gone for GF Smith colour plan to add the red, whereas John Moores have printed the red on theirs and then added the spot UV varnish over the top. Brighton have gone for the die cutting. Very unique to have that on any book a degree show catalog but we appreciate you're a group of students and you really want to push the boundaries so if there's something that you've thought about for your front cover that you want to find out whether it is possible then get, do get in touch either on the phone or on email and we'll be happy to talk it through we could probably send you some links over or some photos if similar effects have been tried in the past we'll let you know whether it will work or not as you get nearer to lift off do send over a work in progress file of how you'd like your cover to look and we can also flag up whether it will lend itself well to the process that you're intending. You can always just refine it down slightly. All of the premium processes tend to take four or five working days, so they're not something that can be rushed. If you do send over a work in progress file beforehand, then we can hit the ground running when it is time to go ahead with the catalogue, um, send it over kind of a week or two before you're ready to go ahead, and then that means we can just tweak it, we can make amends, and we can give you some expert opinion about whether that process is going to lend itself well to the artwork that you've designed if not we can maybe have a rethink or just kind of fine tune it a little bit and make sure that it is spot on